David Sigmund, it's lovely to have you here at the Centre for Welfare Reform. I'm going to ask you some questions about your life, your career and some of your perspectives on the healthcare system and society. Um, but I think I'd like to start, David, by um, asking you to maybe just answer the question, how did you become a GP in the first place? Well, uh, I obviously became a doctor, first of all, and I knew I was far more interested, temperamentally, intellectually too, by the personal aspects of illness rather than the merely technological ones. And I was interested in, in a sense, the naturally personal, in other words, how did people fit in with their relationships, their families, their communities, and how could I, as a doctor, engage with those things? Um, and so the two main areas that I engaged with and studied and then practiced in were psychiatry and general practice that um, could enable ensure, engage with personal continuity of care as opposed to institutionalised prescribed methods of care.